Hey guys, what's up? It's Jeff Soroka, and if you're like me, you've got an iPhone, and you probably use it every day for just about everything. And over time, you may have filled up all the space on your phone. You may have gone to take a picture or a video and gotten that dreaded message that says that you can't take another video because you're out of storage space. Ah, that's so frustrating. I've got some great tips as well as ideas to clean up your phone, free up some space, and get you back to being able to take more pictures and do the fun things that you love to do on your iPhone. Coming up. So what's cool is that iOS actually has a feature built in that tells you who the biggest uh, storage culprits are. So you're going to want to go to your settings, and then under settings you're going to want to go to general. And under general you're going to want to scroll down to storage and iCloud usage. Under there it's going to take a, a moment here to load, but if we click on the manage storage you can see how much is used, how much is left available. It's going to load all of my apps here and it's going to list them from the ones taking up the most space at the top all the way down to the ones taking the least space all the way at the bottom. And if you are kind of like me, your photos and camera is probably going to be somewhere near the top of that list. You can use an app called Google Photos to upload all your photos and videos that are on your phone and to set it to automatically do so from now on. If you just go to your app store, you can search for Google Photos. Go ahead and download it. I've already got it on my phone here. We're going to open it up. If you want to set Google Photos to automatically back up your photos, you can go to the little hamburger bar up there and then under settings, you can choose the manage device storage or backup and sync. The other thing that you can do is hook your phone up to your computer and if you've got iTunes installed you can do a, a local backup of all of your files onto your computer. So before you delete any photos off of your phone you want to log on to photos.google.com to make sure that any of those photos that you are backing up or transferring have made it on to Google Photos. So once you are certain that you've got all your photos backed up, you can go back in, you can manually delete your photos, go into your photo roll, if you hit select, you can actually scroll your finger across multiple photos, and then go ahead and delete. So if you've deleted photos from your camera roll and you're noticing your iPhone memory hasn't gone up, it's because it actually deleted the photos from the camera roll and just put them into a different folder, which is your recently deleted folder. If we click into this, these are going to be all the recently deleted photos and videos uh, that you've got. You're going to want to hit the select button up here and then down at the bottom choose the delete all option. That's going to delete all of those off of your phone and free up the actual memory space. So another app that takes up a lot of space is going to be the messages on your phone. If you scroll down and you get to the messages area, you'll actually see here that under the settings for messages, you can keep messages forever if you want. You'll be able to reduce a lot of the space on your phone if you keep messages for, if you reduce that down to 30 days. So another area that takes up a lot of space on my phone is going to be my music. If you want to listen to music while you're on your phone, you can subscribe to different music streaming services such as Spotify or there's Amazon Music. It allows you to listen to music, but the music isn't actually being loaded onto your phone. You're just streaming it, so it's saving the storage space that you have on your phone. So if you do need to free up more storage and you have music currently downloaded on your phone, you can go under storage and click music. It does give you an option here for all songs. If you swipe to the left, you have the option to delete all the music quickly off of your phone. In this instance, it would free up 1.42 gigabytes of space. If I didn't need quite as much space, I have the option here to swipe to the left and I can also delete individual artists. Not going to free up quite as much space but then I'm not deleting all the music at once off of my phone. As long as you have this music saved to, say, a local computer, when you resync your phone back up, you can always add this music back to your phone at a later point. If you're like me, you like listening to podcasts on the road, in the car, things like that. Uh, also, ebooks. Podcasts are going to take up a lot of space on your phone. So, any podcast that you might download. Uh, onto your phone, you can see them and then just go ahead and swipe. 
it'll give you the option to delete them. If I deleted all the podcasts right now, that would free up an extra 300 megs of space. Another area is if you listen to audiobooks, I have Audible, which is on my phone. And as an example, right now the Audible app is taking up 347 megs. So jumping over to the Audible app, right now I've got three different audiobooks that are loaded onto my device here. I can always swipe and delete them from my device. As long as I've purchased them, I can re-download these at any time. After deleting those audiobooks, you'll see the Audible app is now only taking up 45 megs on my phone. Something like Facebook, which I use all the time, is constantly accumulating data. So if I click on Facebook here, you're gonna see that documents and data are actually 336 megabytes. One of the best things I've found is to simply delete the app and reinstall it on your phone, and it's gonna take up much less space. We're just gonna go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna re-download the Facebook app. And going back to my storage, the Facebook app is now only taking up 193 megabytes of space. So I love playing different apps and games on my phone. Pokemon Go is one of my favorites right now. That app is actually taking up 524 megabytes of space, basically half a gigabyte on my phone. When I click into it, I see that there's actually 287 megabytes of documents and data for that game. Now the game saves all of your progress online. So the fact that it's taking up so much space on my phone, I'm gonna delete the app here and then reinstall it to save some space. Found the Pokemon Go app in the App Store. I'm gonna re-download it. So I was able to log back into my account in the game. I was on level 29. I'm still on level 29. Let's go check our space. So I'm going to my storage here and looking. Pokemon Go is now taking up 251 megabytes of space on my phone, about half of what it was taking up before, just by deleting the app and reinstalling it. So if you guys find that you're constantly filling up the memory on your phone and you're maybe looking for a cheaper alternative than buying a new phone with larger memory space, you can actually find iPhone memory expander products online. And I'll actually link to some of those down in the YouTube description below. Uh, I'd encourage you guys to go take a look, read some of the reviews on the different products to find the one that's gonna be best for you. All right, I hope you guys were able to take some of the information in this video and free up some space on your phones. If you guys know of other ways to free up space on your phones, help somebody else out. Leave that information in the comments section below. Feel free to give us a like on this video if this helped you out in any way. Go ahead and subscribe to our channel for more cool videos that are just like this. And I very much appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you soon.